Today, what are we doing? Combining oats. All right, let's go. Grab your water pitcher on the way out. Actually, this one's yours, but I'll take the red one. Okay, let's go. All right, there's the combine. Let's get going. Yamule. Yeah, we'll see you on the field. All right, we're starting. Oats. Hopefully it's only a one day affair, right now. Yeah. For some reason, this throttle here likes to idle back on its own. Oh, there's actually oats coming out. That's a plus. Get to the end of the field and then we'll get out and check her out. They were losing her. So maybe a vice grip and all the equipment ain't that bad. Oh, and it's really, really hot in here because the air conditioner doesn't work. So and there is some alfalfa out here, so that's a good sign. So we're checking to see if she's cleaning them off. Looks like we are, and we'll come here, see how much is on the ground, there's a little bit, some of it could have been from the combine, or from the disc bind too, so, I think we're looking pretty good. Now you 
just gotta find where the fire's coming from. All right, unfortunately, it was on fire or smoking really good when I got home, so you guys got left behind. But if you can see, there's still smoke coming up in here. So we'll see if we can get rid of that. And so I'm thinking what happened is we got some dust on the exhaust that fell off and blew embers. Because I haven't, unless I find something else. But that, as of right now, is the story I'm sticking to. So, it probably wasn't as exciting as some people were hoping for. But, like I said, we had a fire extinguisher that got used out in the field. Now we're just trying to... Some of it might be steam. Some of it might be fire. We don't know. So we're just drenching everything. Real good. So, hopefully nothing more exciting happens and we'll catch you at the next thing. We are on our last little bit here and then we're gonna be done with us for the year. As you can see, we're still the same combine. It burned to the ground yesterday. That's plus. to make sure it don't start on fire again. That'd be a uh, good choice. And then we're going to start cutting some hay. When we get at the disc pine, we'll talk about that. Because uh, it's, what, the, the 3rd of August today, so exciting. The oats did pretty good. I think we've got somewhere around 60 bushel an acre. So, I mean, all things considered, Take it. All right. We'll catch you in the disc pipe. All right. We made it back or into the disc pipe. We're cutting our absolutely horrendous looking alfalfa. As Liam said, we should. Liam, why did you want to cut it? Looks a little better here. Once again, you can tell where to... And add a little more water. So the reason we are cutting our alfalfa is because it is August 3rd. I would really have liked to wait longer, but since we didn't get any water, the key here, this hay got old fast, really fast. As you can see, it's purple. Some of it's really purple. Where there's water, there's it's still purple. And so, 
it's just gonna get old. If we by chance get lucky, but so far it really hasn't happened this year, where we get inches of water, then it will grow back and we'll have a fourth cutting. If we don't get rain, oh, that's a big rock. We just, this will be it. But if we wait too long, it'll just get really old and, and uh, yeah. <coughs> so, we made an executive decision that we would cut it, even though there's really nothing out here for the most part. We're going to merge it five and one and blow through the chopper. And see what happens. Now, if it all looked like this, we, be cutting it yet. we would let it go two weeks. And yes, there is definitely some bug pressure out here, but there too. I was waiting for a halfway as decent rain before I wasted money on spray. And we never got it, so I never sprayed. If we would get a significant amount of rain, I probably will spray. So, I think we are going to end this video. I, we're gonna wrap it up in the office. We'll get you a joke yet. So, we got all of our hay cut. And I have the results for second cutting. So, the low lignit had a adjusted crude protein of 20.55, and the relative feed value was 156.18. Okay. And then the Roundup Ready had a adjusted crude protein of 19.51 and the relative feed value was 133.79. So there was a little bit of a difference this time around. I'm starting to think that there's probably not enough to make me want to plant more of it though. As ultimately, I will keep an eye on it and Ultimately, I really don't care what the tests say. It is what the bulk tank says with uh, pounds of milk and what one's components run because you run it. I am thinking it's not going to make a difference. So, it is what it is. So, I think we owe you a joke. So we'll get that. Why did the chef go to jail? Why? Because he beat the eggs and whipped the cream. <laughs> and then this is going to wrap up our video. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to have a glass of milk and eat some cheese, please. And have a good one.